There's a lot of challenges for thin film firms. We've seen a lot go bankrupt. We've seen a lot close down uh, manufacturing operations. But there's something uh, a little bit special, it seems. Uh, you, you've announced that you're actually expanding production. Why is that? We've uh, seen quite some uh, excellent results uh, within uh, Caluxo over the last month. So especially we had a new good sell of 16.2% uh, and uh, best module of 13.4%. Uh, and uh, that uh, underlines uh, the extremely good quality of our atmospheric deposition process. And uh, with that, our investors have decided that we can uh, even enlarge our production from the current 25 megawatt now to 85 megawatts. And uh, we're very positive to, uh, to be able to also um, put these products into the market. Now, does that, does that therefore mean that you're achieving a cost competitiveness in the market, especially when we've seen uh, the rapid decline in crystalline silicon costs? You know, this has been a challenge uh, for thin film is to, is to remain cost competitive. Yeah. I think exactly this uh, increase now of capacity um, will lead us exactly to that point. Uh, in 2012 we will have uh, cost below 80 dollar cents per watt peak and 2030 we see the possibility go down below 60 dollar cents and that all in Germany. Main reason for that is uh, again as I said the cheap atmospheric deposition process. We don't have any vacuum, no expensive chambers, uh, process control uh, and uh, pumps. So that, that is the, the main advantage. And um, in the end, we, with, with these good results now on, uh, on our production, um, we get very attractive cost basis also in Germany. And uh, even, even better if we would go to Asia. Right, now part of the challenge for, for, for anybody in thin film is, is one is, is finding a market, finding customers in that. What's going on there? Is it, are you sort of reaching a sweet spot now that, that the technology and the cost competitive as such that people are, are recognizing that and you're, and you're seeing a lot more customer demand? Yes, I think that the demand is there and uh, the demand is there beyond only a product. So what we are selling is more a solution. We are selling uh, our module together with planning, system design, also implementation. So we are implementing our own systems. We've just built a two megawatt system, our own. And uh, even the after sales is an important thing. So our customers know that Caluxo will be there from the beginning to the end with them. And even in a few years, we will be helping them if they have any issues with their, uh, with their system. And that is very much appreciated all over Europe and also now in other countries uh, beyond Europe that not only they get a, um, a product, but they get uh, an overall system um, from Caluxo with very low uh, overall electricity costs. Obviously, it's been a challenging environment for everybody, but obviously in particular thin film. I mean, where's the future? Where do you see the future for thin film? I think thin film has a very attractive future. What we've seen over the last two years is that crystalline modules the prices have gone down a lot, also costs, but the costs are really driven by low silicon price. That is a one-time effect. The inherent cost reduction of the crystalline technology was not as big as the one of thin film. And we will see that in the future continuously coming from thin film. And this is why I'm extremely positive that we get even costs below $40 very soon in thin film uh, in the next two years and that we will not see with crystalline. I know that everybody is talking at the moment on uh, the cheap crystalline, but you should also look who's making money with that. That is in the end our goal, and we will make money with the Calypso product. Others, I think, with the, the crystalline will have big, big problems in making money with what they're offering at the moment.